Hi again, everybody. Today's rant is brought to you by New Works Plumbing of Sacramento, locally owned for 20 years. For your plumbing needs and plumbing repairs, check out newworksplumbing.com, N-E-W-W-R-X-Plumbing.com. I know you're going to find this hard to believe, but Antonio Brown, that's right, the wide receiver Antonio Brown, the guy that quit on the Steelers, made a mockery and was a clown show in Oakland, got cut in New England, was signed by the Tampa Bay Brady's just a couple of weeks ago, according to the Miami Herald on October 15th. You ready for this? I know. He allegedly broke a security camera in his neighborhood and threw a bicycle, that's right, threw a bicycle at the security shack. Raise your hand, please, if you have thrown your bicycle at a security shack. Anybody out there in a boat with their arms up? Nah. No, sir, is that an arm? No. Over there? No. I didn't think so. Unbelievable. And the head of the Homeowners Association in the gated community in Hollywood, Florida, decided not to press charges. You know why? She was fearful of retaliation from Brown towards her employees. Now, if you think that's bad enough, the Buccaneers came out with a statement and said they knew of the alleged incident on October 15th, but yet still signed him two weeks later. Even though we know Bruce Arians didn't want him, the front office didn't want him, but because Tom Brady said, I want Antonio Brown, they caved in, and the Tampa Bay Brady's now have to deal with this guy again. Unbelievable. When does it stop? I've said this before. How many times have I said this? This guy does not deserve to be playing in the National Football League. And if these allegations are true, and I'm not a betting man, but if I were, eh, you know what? I'm probably going to say that they are. But I'm going to wait. But if they are true, and again, I think they're true, that should be it. How many chances does a guy get? The NFL is investigating this, and hopefully they will come to a conclusion soon like they have not been able to do in the past and just say, you know what? Our league is better without Antonio Brown in it. And we are giving you a lifetime ban. That's the way you avoid this nonsense. And while that's going on, I hope uh, the Tampa Bay Brady's lose every freaking game they play because this is an outrage. It really is. And for them to come out and say they knew about the alleged incident before they signed them even makes it worse. Unbelievable. And that is my rant for today. Tomorrow, and if you don't like that, my guest will be Kenny Albert from Fox. And as always, thanks for watching Grant's Rant.